Hello everyone, this is Cindy from My Altered Muse and um, I'm going to work on a little, short little project in my um, journal and my um, zig, zig jigsaw journal, puzzle journal, that's a mouthful. And so I just flipped on the camera, please excuse the mess on my desk, I have been working on several projects so um i'm going to do this little flower pot project um a lot of the girls are using uh, all kind of different flowers and i have chosen to use angela's um flowers that she has on her website so if you're interested um, in doing it the way I'm doing it, hop on over and get some of her flowers. But first of all, let me show you what I did. I picked out this page. I think they, this is a pretty page to use as a background. And I kind of uh, made my own little flower pot. All I did was just take... Well, I didn't cut that. I didn't tear it too well. Let me. All I did was take a um, piece of paper like this. And let's see. It was about that wide. And what I did was um, I just took my ruler or... Um, let me jump over here and get my... I just took a ruler and I kind of lined it up the side like so not too just kind of like that not too big of an angle and um i drew a line well my line didn't show up this pen might be new hold on a minute let me see if it's working i think it's still got the wax on the tip yeah okay just take and um draw a line like so and then um, I cut this line with my scissors like so and then I flipped it over and lined up the top like that and then I just cut down the other side and bingo, you've got a flower pot, okay? Okay, so that's how you make, that's how you can make your little flower pot. Um, I kind of tore mine across the edge a little bit. So I think the very first thing I'm gonna do is, um, oh, let's see how I wanna do this. Um, I'm going to glue down the back bottom part of it because I'm going to be sliding things underneath the top, okay? So I'm just going to put a little glue like right there and I'm going to plop my flower pot down. I hope everybody's doing well today. I'm just feeling really good. It's a beautiful spring day here. Okay, now let me show you what I have collected to make my flowers. I went ahead and made them because they're kind of fiddly, but I will show you how to do one, okay? Now, I used, a long time ago, I got my little, I think it was my one and a, one inch circle punch or one and a half inch circle punch and I drew off a bunch of little tiny circles and I cut out fabric. I tea dyed some fabric and I cut it out. It it's um not linen, but um then I can't say what it is. Um and I cut out a whole bunch of these and made these little tiny tiny gathered yo-yos. And I really haven't used them that much, so I thought, well, you know, those will be cute in the center of those flowers. So if you have the notion 
dye you some fabric and um, cut out a circle about an inch. Gather them up, make you some little tiny um, centers. But you could also use buttons. You can you, you could do another piece of fabric. You could put roll up a piece of ribbon and put in the center of them. You could put a pearl. There's so many things you could put in the middle of a flower. Um, but I decided to use these. So what I'm going to do first, and also I had cut these out. These are um, um, Tim Holtz, um, some of his um, little die cuts. And I cut some of them out. Now, again, you could use anything you wanted to. Um, you could, you know, you could use anything you wanted to. I just wanted a little green behind here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to put these down just real easily. Um, if I can pick it up. I couldn't find anything yet. I tried rickrack, I tried ribbon, I couldn't find anything that I liked. So I decided to um, do it this way. Might be a little fiddly, but you know, what have we got except time? Okay, I'm gonna put one right there. I'm just kind of randomly figuring out and what i did with my flowers is um like i say i tried all kind of things for a stem too and didn't like anything so what i ended up doing is i had these little these would be cute in the middle of it for a center also but what i did was i took these fly this flower and i cut the wire off and then i Bend it a little bit and ran it through the back of the flower and glued it and then glued my little, um, my little, um, flower onto it. Okay, let's see. Now, I'm gonna fold that over a little bit because I want that like right there. So I'm going to snip this off and I'm not going to worry about putting any glue on the stem. I'm just going to put a dab of glue on the back of my flower and I'm going to kind of line it up kind of where it's got some green behind it. Okay. I hope everyone's doing okay. I've decided I think I'm going to go ahead and put my journal together because I believe I told y'all I was going to use this as a journal uh, for making um, different ideas that I come up with and different ideas of things that I see that other creators do. And um, this, it'll be my... Um, it will be my idea journal, and I'm just going to add all kind of things in it. So, I think I'm going to go ahead and put it together, and it's going to have a lot of blank pages in it because um, I want to be adding a lot of, of things to it. Okay, I'm going to put this one way up here. I just wanted some greenery behind these flowers. Okay, and I, I made three. And um, I think they turned out really cute. They're kind of different, but um, that's what I came up with. So um, let me see here how I want to do this. I think that'll go there. And then, or maybe, let's see, I think I'll do this. Okay, I got to play around with, it with this a minute. I didn't figure out how I wanted to do it before I came on camera. So we'll do this together. Okay, let's see if we do that one like that. And then come in with the yellow one. Um, that one needs to be higher. So let's see here. Maybe I'll do that. Oh, me, how do I want to do this? Um, 
I think actually I'm going to bring that one like that. So I'm going to go ahead and put that one in like that, straight. And I'm just going to run my little piece of wire down. And I'm going to pop that on with some greenery behind it. And then this one. Oh, let me get that one up as high as I can get it. I want that one there. And then this. Mm, wait a minute. I got to figure this out. Okay. Um, oh, me. How do I want to do this? I had it. Okay, let's do that. And then I'm gonna bring this one down a little bit also, I think. So let's raise that one up a little bit. And let's snip this one off a little bit. And let's see. Slide that under there maybe. Yeah, I like that. Let me straighten out the stem. Okay, now let's put um, this right there. I love this. It's kind of a, like a little fern. These are these little uh, Tim Holtz um, tiny lips. They're, um, you can get them on his website, and I think you can also go to that Simon Says site. Um, he has a lot of... Um, Tim Holtz. He has a whole section of Tim Holtz things. Okay, I want to move this up. If I don't rip it, just a hair. Put that right there. You wouldn't think I'd have so much indecision with just a little, <laughs> three little flowers, but I want to. I want them like I want them. You know. Okay, so let's slide this right there, only that's going into my make sure that's not impeding my, oh, it's not. There. Okay. Now, let me make sure that's closing. And it is. And let me put a little bit more glue back here. I, I don't use these a whole lot, and that's why I don't like gluing them down so much. <laughs> okay. Oh, that's pretty cute. I like that. Okay, now I'm going to come back and um, add the glue along the top here of my little flower pot. Okay. This paper came out of the kit. I'm not sure which one because I've got, I've got so much of their paper, but... Um, now, I was thinking maybe that I would add this across the flower pot, and I'm going to have to cut that at an angle like that, and I'm going to have to cut this one at an angle like that. That. This is just an oh, this is a piece of um, lace that I got out of um, my stash bucket. I have a huge stash bucket of lace, and um, it's actually a trash can, but it's a little pink bucket or a big pink bucket. And that's where I throw all my ribbons and lace and then I kind of go through there 
Okay, I'm liking this. It's simple, but um, effective. I think a lot of the girls cut flowers out themselves and made them. You can also cut flowers out with a, um, with a, um, a punch. There's all kind of things you can do. Now, here again, I'm not sure what I want to do on the bottom. Oh, that's cute. I like that. I like 3D things. Um, I have this ruffle that I think I'm gonna put over here on this side, not quite yet, but uh, I am gonna use this ruffle. And um, I haven't really figured out what I wanna do here. Um, so I might not finish this today because I'm not really sure. Where'd it go? Did I, oh, oh, it's the same shade. You couldn't see it. I think, I think that's awful sweet. In fact, I really like that. That little yellow flower with the um, little yellow bow. I think that is very sweet. Okay, problem solved. That's what we're going to do. We're going to put this down right here. We're going to plop that right there. We're going to put a, whoops. Okay, I'm going to put that right there, if it'll stay. Let me um, get something to hold it down with for a second there. Okay. I hope everybody's having fun with this project. I know some girls are already through with theirs, but I'm gonna <laughs> I'm gonna drag mine out because, um, like I said, I want to use it as a reference journal, and um, I think this will be perfect for that. So um, that's what I'm gonna do. I know a lot of girls already have a reference journal. And I never have done one, so that's what I'm going to do. Oh, that's so sweet. I love it. In fact, I think this is a little piece of vintage um, lace right there, actually. Okay. Um, and since this is an ongoing project, if I decide to do something else, I will let you, I will show you and let you know what I added to it. But I think that is so sweet and just so pastel. And I was thinking maybe, um, I don't know what I was thinking I might put on the other page. Um, maybe yellow. That would be beautiful. And then come back in with my, um, where did it go? Where'd my little ruffle go? You know, I think I'm the only person in the world that can sh have something in their hand one minute. There it is. And the next minute, it's gone. Look at this. Wouldn't that be beautiful? Not next to that, of course. But maybe that and that butterfly. I think I'll work these in together somehow. And I think that's beautiful. Okay. Um, I just wanted to show you this as I worked on it, and I hope you enjoyed it. And um, like I say, if you want these flowers, hop on over to Angela's site. I did check before I um, got ready to do these, and she does still have them over there. So um, actually, that's pretty just like that. I like that also. Okay, I want to thank everyone for joining me, and I will talk to you soon. Y'all have a wonderful day, and stay happy. Bye-bye.